Hey guys, Tristan Adams, Modern Design Aquascaping. So today we are starting another Oasis series pond. So this is a 13 by 19 foot pond, three feet deep. It's gonna be epic, but I wanna share with you guys some of the challenges and what makes this pond a little bit different than the other ones we've done with the exact same measurements. That being said, the whole slope of this yard, is, it's this way, it slopes this way. So it's actually sloping like 16 to 24 inches somewhere in there over the course of our 19 foot run. So there's gonna be a lot of challenges that we're gonna to have to overcome during the course of this. All of these lovely orange accent flowers made of plastic around me are blocking different irrigation heads. So fortunately for us, this is the best the irrigation has ever been marked. And that really changes the design up because it's really nice when you come out and you spray paint exactly where you want the pond to go. And then you find out what's actually under the ground and you decide, okay, well, that was a great plan, but we're gonna have to move it completely opposite side. So we're shifting, we were originally up the hill, but we have to shift all the way down into this area because the 13 by 19, 19's going this way, which also makes it much more challenging for us to build because we have this whole edge on this backside that's gonna be so much lower than the far edge on the, the top side where the waterfall's gonna be going. So we're gonna have to do all kinds of stuff. You guys will see that during the course of this video. Stay tuned because this is going to be another epic pond going on. So all kinds of interesting things have happened over the course of this very short day that we've had. So we almost got the pond completely dug. We actually did get the pond completely dug. We're trying to make up our mind if we're gonna end up making it six inches deeper or not by raising the elevations around it due to excess dirt material. But all of these things happening, we get to our 6,000 biofalls that we're trying to install and the bulkheads were drilled, I guess, with the wrong sized bits. So the three inch bulkheads do not go in and we have to hand drill our own holes in there. Plus side of that, there's no power here. We didn't hit it, or you guys would have saw already. We did not hit power, but no one in this neighborhood has power right now. So we can't use our regular drill that we got. Yeah, yeah, never a dull moment. That's what life is, solving problems. Hmm. Well guys, these are just uh, some of the things you run into on these projects. So we had an amazing day yesterday. Uh, day one, we got liner in the hole, we got our skimmer in, we got our biofalls in, plumbing and everything attached, looking great to start off our day. And then last night, about 11 o'clock, the rain comes in and we had inches of rain since then. So we tried to get our boulders yesterday, delivery just didn't work out that way. And uh, now we've got our boulders showing up and 
It is really something out here, guys. It is a muddy mess. We've got water under the liner causing hydraulic pressure pushing up on stuff. We're gonna have to pull the liner back and get the bottom of the pond pumped out again before we even start on this stuff. The machine can't make it back here because it's too muddy, so we're having to unload all of our boulders at the end of the driveway, and we're gonna have to bring them back one at a time with the smaller machine. It has just been one thing after another this morning, and that's what business is, is solving problems. So we're gonna overcome these challenges, and uh, you guys stay tuned to see how that happens. All right, so finally, we've got no rain, really loud machines in the background, and uh, we are ready for boulders. So we got these things here yesterday, we got unloaded through the rain, super cold, all kinds of stuff going on, but today we had our pump in behind the liner so we could actually pump out all the water that was going underneath the liner, creating that hydraulic pressure we talked about, and we had that pumping out all night. So leaving the water inside the liner actually displaced the weight of the water underneath the liner, pushed all the water that was under there as the pump was pumping out right to it. And when we show up this morning, no water underneath the liner, just a little bit of muddiness. And that is totally fine. So we got everything pumped out. We are ready for boulders and we are gonna start slinging these things because I am ready to go. My pre-workout is kicking in and I need to do stuff. Once again, we're back. We're at the start of day three here. We had most of the pond actually rocked yesterday, so we've got nothing pretty much but top rocks, a little bit of stuff next to the cave, and we're moving on into waterfall land and getting close to done with this pond. But one thing I wanted to show you guys, so it rained last night after we did all this rock work, and we have a lot of water underneath of our liner. It's very cozy. It's, a, it's like a little water bed in here. And uh, with the hundreds of gallons we have under here, this liner with nothing inside acts pretty much like a boat. So you think about how much a boat can carry, it's a, it's a lot. So you actually do carry the risks when you don't have the pond full of water, a potential shifting in boulders, things moving around from just the hydraulic pressure under here. So what we've got, we've got the hose in here filling right now. We're gonna bring this water level up to actually push the water to a spot. We're gonna take out a couple buckets of gravel behind one of these boulders, pull back the liner, drop our clean out pump in there, get the water pumping out and having the water inside the pond actually pushes that stuff to the path of least resistance, which is going to be the spot where we're gonna have that pump slid down in behind the liner. So we're gonna be able to get probably 95% of this water out of here so that we can actually do our gravel work, our lights, and get this stuff buttoned up by the end of the day. But it is looking great. We've got uh, tons of mud out here, tons of rain, tons of... So yeah, that being said, let's, let's get to pumping some of this water out. All right guys, so this is what we've got. We are at the start of day four here. 
So it looks like most of our stuff's done, but we have a ton of detail to do. We've got this whole side, we've got a couple top rocks we gotta set and build up on this area. We've gotta finish up around the skimmer box. We've got multiple tons of accent boulders that need to be installed in the sides. We've got another waterfall to build. We've got the backfilling to do. We gotta attach the biofalls. We gotta get this thing clean. We gotta plant aquatic plants. We gotta haul everything off. And we've got one day to do it. So we are going to have to hurry tremendously to actually get to where we wanna be. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off today by getting everything in the bottom of the pond completely done as fast as possible. We wanna get this thing graveled, we wanna have our top rocks and everything set, working our way out of the pond so that Nick, guy holding the camera right now, can actually get started on the clean out of this thing and hopefully while we're finishing up in the area up next to the biofalls, getting that stuff attached, building the last waterfall, we can actually get the pond cleaned in the meantime and while we're buttoning everything else up, have this thing filling so we can do our test run to make sure that it's not leaking and running down the hillside before we leave. So I need to quit yapping and start getting some gravel in this thing because it ain't going to get done if I don't do it. So I'm out of here. Let's go. We're gone. guys so that's that's what we've got it has been a very interesting project we've had all kinds of stuff go wrong fortunately nothing terribly everyone's okay we made it out of this alive and healthy but you guys saw we've had problems with rain almost every other day this place has been a total soup hole muddy nasty mess that's been going on the boulders coming and not being able to even get back here so we got a four-man team unloading rocks for a half a day plus we've got downspouts filling up the pond underneath of it during every other day where we have off because of the rain, it has been one thing after another, but we have made it happen. We've reached the finish line. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the after shots of this project because this thing is sweet. We will catch you next time. Tristan Adams, Modern Design, out.